understand the difference between the absolute and relative view. You know, mm -hmm. from the absolute perspective, which you described, of course you look at it, you can see it's all perfect, you can see the rhythms of it, you just under, there's an understanding that transcends cognition completely, you just get it. Mm -hmm. But then, how to honor what's relative, how to honor the hassle you're having with a partner, you know, a relationship, without reverting to big picture language, which can be an easy way of pushing away the conflict. If it's all perfect, then, you know, yeah. how can I be criticized for being a reactive jerk? Yeah. That's just your view, but I'm not. Yeah. This, is, this is just the perfection showing up as me. We can talk ourselves out of relationship, but an intimate relationship, or even a really good friendships, bring us back to Earth. We can keep one foot, in a sense, in that big picture realm, yeah. and the rest of us is, is still living out our, our small self reality. But when they work together, it's beautiful to feel the, the awareness of what really matters at the deepest level pervading the work we're doing in the moment. Like when we're doing, say, a, 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 an intensive group, we just finished a week-long one here. Mm -hmm. At the same time, someone is reliving an agonizing period in their life. Maybe they're discharging the, the uh, energy, say, from violent, violation they've suffered and have never dealt with. When they, when they go into that small, tight, contracted world, there's often an explosion of, op of openness mm -hmm. that more often than not leads to a spiritual opening, you know, an understanding of who and what they truly are without any prior uh, spiritual practice quite often. Mm -hmm. Because they've gone, to the, they've gone to their core wound, they stayed relatively awake in it, and they felt it. There's no uh, bypassing the feeling, but there's an opening. It's like when someone's in deep grief, suddenly there's a sense of being connected with everything. Their broken heart yes. allows them to feel life so fully. Yeah, it's like they're so real, they don't, they don't even mm -hmm. have the energy to pretend anymore. So. That's the key, is when you no longer give a damn what people <laughs> are looking at or what they think of you while you're opening. It's just like, mm -hmm. okay, here I am. My egoity is not going to block this. I don't get rid of my egoity. I just have to not let it be a central part of my being. Let it remain on the periphery more as a, as a functional psychological uh, process, but not as who I am.